What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and in my Dirt Devil review, some of you may have noticed the fact that I mentioned how there are certain vacuum brands that actually do sell manufacturer refurbished products, meaning basically machines that have been refurbished by the original manufacturer, which in many cases basically means the machine was completely rebuilt. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really know how this process works. If they basically would get a machine to refurbish in the same way that I would, only just replace everything that they can to make it look brand new without having to do any actual cleaning work and without having to try to get rid of scratches. I'm assuming that's how it's done, uh, since it is indeed remanufactured. Bissell's been doing remanufactured re runs of their products for probably a couple decades at this point. And, you know, I'm still on the hunt for hopefully to find a remanufactured, since remanufactureds are usually the the newest runs of legacy vacuums that normally would not be produced brand new anymore. Hopefully remanufactured means that you may be likely to find an older machine that you may like in like new condition or essentially new condition, but new refurbished. They're basically new. This is basically brand new, or at least it's supposed to be, but it's not technically brand new because it's was used at one point it's weird it's refurbished it's reconditioned all of those fancy words but it's from the manufacturer so it's to a higher spec to what an independent repairman like myself would be expected to do because obviously Bissell since they make their own parts they can afford to replace all the parts on the machine because they can merely do it at cost and not actually have to pay shipping prices to get parts in and all the work to completely rebuild a machine that in the end wouldn't sell for anywhere near the price of what you paid for the replacement parts, let alone for the vacuum itself. So, with that in mind, I bought the PowerForce Helix Turbo because the Rewind version that I wanted isn't available in a remanufactured SKU. I checked on both eBay's, or on Bissell's eBay portal and on Walmart.com, and neither of those places contained the Rewind variant, so my only options were the standard compact, the bagged Power Force, the bagged Power Force, or the uh, Power Force Helix, and the Power Force Helix Turbo. The compact turbo is not an option. The Power Lifter is not an option. Uh, the Power Glide Pet is an option. So I may check that out at some point because I've been wanting to check out that machine, but that's a later video and not even a guarantee. So enough babbling. Let's open this up. For a while, because this says Power Force Helix, not Helix Turbo, well, I had this. I was kind of worried. I was like, did, did they send me the wrong unit? I don't want to open this up if it's the wrong unit. But then I actually looked and flipped it over, and they actually used the same box for both machines. They just simply put a check mark on which machine it is. So either the 1700R or the 1701R. Now, for those familiar with my collection, you know that I previously had a PowerForce 3522-R, and as of right now, I do still own it, but... As soon as I'm done filming this video, I'm going to go ship that out to Cameron, so that way he will get that machine. So this will essentially replace it as the only remanufactured Bissell machine in my collection. So, with that said, let's open this up and see what they sent. Now, according to the eBay listing, this cost me 45 Oh my... Sorry about that. Something hap some some sort of noise happened and it startled me really badly. Anyways, um, I got this machine for forty five dollars, refurbished, and this is directly from Bissell. You can say see it says buy direct from Bissell. Always free shipping, which is wonderful. And uh, this machine normally you can see it's marked thirty four percent off compared to buying one brand new for seventy bucks at Walmart. So you do save some money. An in an interesting thing is that if you uh, it's forty five bucks for any refurbished Power Force Helix Turbo. But if you buy on eBay, you get the 1701 model, which is the slightly older model. And if you buy through Walmart's website, it shows the 2190 model, which is the newest model that would be identical to one that you would find brand new in stores. So I don't know why there's that discrepancy there. Um, not that it really matters. They're both the exact same machine. I just bought it on eBay because, well, I just, I'm used to buying on eBay. And eh, I didn't really feel like giving Walmart my money. So... With that in mind, 45 bucks. let's see if this is worth it. It says it only con contains the extension wall and crevice tool and dusting brush, so it shows a turbo brush, but it may not contain it, which is possibly another reason why they decided to just reuse the same box, since the main thing that makes it turbo is the turbo brush. So we'll see about that. 
And then, of course, it shows all the other promotional material, which does show a turbo brush, which is kind of confusing. And that's a normal Helix, which is odd. And you can see it comes with a six-month guarantee. But if you look on the box, it says 90-day limited warranty. So I don't know what that's all about. It also advertises, thank you for helping Bissell with our commitment to reducing our impact on the environment. Sustainable design elements incorporated into this product include recycled packaging materials, and I ask you to recycle this box. You can, I really like how Bissell does this. It's really nice to kind of refrain from being wasteful. Anyways, it's been five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we're going to see what I got. Normally, you would open the box from the top, but since this one has a slit all the way down the middle, we're going to go ahead and open it all the way down the middle. So again, just like the retail, actually this tape seems a little bit more sturdy than retail boxes, but the box has a little bit more give to it, which is interesting. So we got that. Alright, that should be good enough. Should be able to pull this open. And I'll be honest, I didn't really need this. I just wanted to, oh, I opened it upside down. Oops. I just wanted to be able to do a video on this and see if buying a refurbished product from Bissell is a good idea. This is basically a two-part series, one with a budget vacuum brand and then another one with a more premium vacuum brand to see if refurbished vacuums, manufacturer refurbished vacuums specifically, are good things to get. Now, interestingly enough, this diagram shows that it does have a turbo brush which is interesting. Release says included in select models. This is the turbo, so it should have the turbo brush. So it is kind of interesting. Well, first off, this is kind of dusty. Hmm, interesting. Take a look at the crevice tool. It's about what I expect. Ooh, that's kind of it's kind of roughed up. Hmm. I've gotten used ones that are in better condition than that. Maybe they didn't replace these parts. Maybe they just did a refurbishment similar to what I would have done. Which I can respect because that's less wasteful, but I did kind of pay under the assumption that it was... Okay, well, this is definitely re replaced. Hmm. Huh. Well, this instruction guide is destroyed. Oh my. Yeah, that's that did not survive transit. You can see this is the instruction manual for the 2190 model and you can see that it's actually they just kind of put a sticker over the model number to say that it works for the 1701R which is interesting. So, and then of course they tape the two handle screws to that. Beyond that, it appears to be remanufactured in Mexico. Huh, interesting. Product in the box is similar to the picture. Features and accessories may vary. This is interesting. That's annoying. It's annoying how this user's guy was just kind of haphazardly jammed in there. But it does include it, which I guess is good. Copyright 2017. If I peel the sticker back, that's... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, and there's the handle screws. So we got that, and I open this upside down, clearly. How am I going to pull this out? There's the handle. Hold on. Let me hold this with my legs. Oh, that'll work. And I can pull this... <laughs> Out. This is the wrong vacuum. Okay. This is a 2190. Okay. Well, that's. I. I mean, I. I bought a 1701. Why would you? Includes a dusting brush, includes the generic white instead of the matching red, but that's okay. It does still kind of match. Uh, that's already really annoying. 
Uh, this was advertised. Okay, it does have the turbo brush. Turbo brush is in good shape. Okay. Handle has a turbo brush bracket. It's covered in dust. I'm assuming that's from this from this uh, cardboard because that looks like cardboard dust. This this clearly was cleaned. Doesn't have any sort of smell. Has a very just neutral plastic smell. And this is just kind of thrown in there. We got the cord hook and the hose, which this this appears to be new. Well, yeah, this this appears to be new. Because that you would you would not get it that clear from washing it. All right. Well, I'm already annoyed because this was advertised as a 1701, not what I got. What is up with this? Why does this say 1701R? This is not a. This is weird. So the sticker is sideways. Bissell information. 120 volts, 8 amps. Model 1701R. But this isn't. This is this is not a 1701. This is clearly a 2190. It has a 2190 style text that goes across the front of the unit, the front of the bin. And it has the larger window that the 2190 has. The 1701 has the smaller window. In fact, where's my phone? I can show that right here. Look at that. You see the 1701? 1701 has the text going up. You can see like on my back power force, the text goes upwards. And then it has the window like that. Okay, well, here's the thing. While that's disappointing to me, the average consumer is not going to give a crap. So the point of this video is still to see if buying a refurbished vacuum from Bissell, in this case, is a good idea. So we are still going to figure that out. This handle has... This handle has a lot of scuffing on it. Hmm. Yeah, and you can feel it too. Like, that's clearly, like, sanded away. Alright. The dust I expected, because a friend of mine bought the refurbished Power Force, and it had dust on it, presumably from this uh, good quality uh, biodegradable cardboard. Anyways... Now, we'll go ahead and put this together. Alright, so the machine is all together, as you can see. Again, pardon the mess in the background. One thing I will mention is that the plug and the actual cord is very sparkly and very nice. It's pretty clear that Bissell did replace the cord on this, which is good because of all the parts you don't want to skimp on. The cord is one of those. The plug was shiny, brand new, so don't have to worry about that front. It also shipped on the bare floor setting, which is interesting because every Bissell I've ever purchased has shipped right down the middle on the medium setting. I checked both the filters. The filters seem good. And I guess, check the brush roll. Brush roll seems pretty good. There are some... Actually, not no, I thought these were scratches, but no, that's just the uh, imperfection. That's just the... Um, light reflecting off of the red plastic brush roll is perfect that's obviously a brand new brush roll brand new genuine Bissell belt of course high adjustment wheels are a little bit weird and this dial is really loose like it's really jiggly doesn't feel right if I incline it you can see that is that's medium 
down, down, up. Okay, yeah, so it is adjusting properly. So functionally, that is just fine. Doesn't feel the best, but if it works, then that's fine. So, ooh, that handle lock is, that's fine. That is okay. All right. So, with that in mind, we'll give this a quick run, and I'll give my final conclusions. Alright, well, the performance is just as I would expect for a brand new one, which, again, makes perfect sense because all the replenishment parts that normally would not be covered under a warranty are, in fact, replaced. And, yeah, you can see that that had plenty of agitation. I've uh, The one that I have does need a new belt, so as a result, it's not as... Not as uh, self-propelled-ish, even though this is obviously not a self-propelled machine, but it's so lightweight. And this rug is such a thin rug, you could see as it was on the lower setting, it dug straight into that carpet and tried to yank me along with it. And we can see from that tiny little section, this did get a decent amount of stuff, which is fairly impressive. Of course, that's more of a review of the vacuum itself and not necessarily this exact refurbishment job. But... Because I already did the review on this on this exact model vacuum. And uh, if you'd like to see that review, I'll link that in the description for the review of the other one that I have. So here's the thing. Even though I did have some complaints about this, for me personally as a collector, for your average Joe consumer, your average Joe Jane consumer, is this a good option? Because $45 does include the turbo brush and all the attachments and accessories. For $45, bucks, you get a machine that's in really good condition, if not brand new condition. If you don't mind some surface scratches here and there, it seems like a great way to save some money. Obviously, it's a vacuum cleaner, so if you're actually using it and you're not a collector, then it's going to get scratches on it anyways. But you also know that it's from the manufacturer, so it's going to be clean, it's going to have the actual important parts replaced, it's functionally going to be 100% new, and it's from a reliable source. So, with that in mind, 45 bucks, Power 4 Celix Turbo, should you buy this? The answer is yes. And I do recommend picking this up if you would like to save some change on getting a Power 4 Celix Turbo. And I mentioned this in my Dirt Devil review because I mentioned how I've bought brand new Dirt Devils that had more issues with them than this did. I had two brand new Dirt Devils that had broken handles. This one does not have a broken handle. Now, funnily enough, the handle is a little bit weird feeling compared to all my other Bissell handles. I don't know why. I'm honestly probably not even going to mention it because I probably am just unlucky at this point. And even so, it doesn't affect the functionality of the machine. Not a big deal. The thing that I'm referring to is just that the seam on this handle feels a little bit weird. So you can kind of feel the seam. It's not as flush, but there's no gap. Unlike the Dirt Devil that I had, both of them that I had, there's no gap. So it still feels like a proper handle. You're just going to kind of feel the plastic in your hand a little bit. 
compared to the new one that I have. And, you know, all the other ones that I have with the same handle. But I doubt majority of the people, I would say 99% of people, if they even notice it, aren't going to care. So with that in mind, for 45 bucks, should you get one of these? 25 foot cord, not the worst filtration in the world, but pretty close to it. All the attachments, nice wide brush, five height adjustments, hep, well not HEPA filter, but at least an accessible exhaust filter, unlike the standard Helix model. And the standard Helix model you can get for a few dollars cheaper than this, but don't bother, just get the turbo. The turbo is going to be a much better choice. Especially considering that you can get this for $5 cheaper than you can buy a Helix brand new. So in that case, I would always recommend this over a Helix, even with the tiny little issues. Just impracticality. So, I do recommend this. And I do think that you should definitely consider getting one of these if you're in the price range, if you're in the market for one of these Bissels. Or for a very cheap, good quality vacuum that you know is going to be well. Plus, it's less wasteful. Because you know these machines have been reconditioned and remanufactured. You know that these machines have already been on the market at some point, but you're going to get a clean one that's been sanitized and that has is in like new condition. But at the same time, you're not buying a brand new one and sending your old vacuum to the landfill. Instead, your vacuum, if you have the same one, maybe it, these guys, Bissell somehow gets a hold of them. I don't know where they get these from, but I'm assuming these are ones that have been brought into service maybe and traded in at service centers I don't know but either way it's less wasteful because you're taking a machine that was once working and instead of putting in the landfill it gets refurbished it gets reconditioned it goes back into a box goes to the next person they save some money landfill is less full everyone's happy so it just seems like a very very smart idea I am all for remanufactured and refurbished goods even for something like a vacuum cleaner as long as it's done right, of course. And as someone who refurbishes these myself, this is really fantastic because it means that these machines are going back out there to people who need them and people are saving money, less wasteful. I already kind of mentioned all that. So, and of course, as we just saw, the machine performs well and there really aren't any significant drawbacks to it over a new machine besides the little tidbits, little little nicks and marks that would exist on a new machine after about, you know, a year of light usage anyways. So, it just kind of seems like a smart idea. So again, I will say, I do recommend picking one of these up. 45 bucks, if you're looking for a Helix Turbo, go get yourself a refurbished one, assuming they're in stock. You can find these on eBay and on Walmart's website for 45 bucks. Again, I'm personally disappointed as a Bissell collector. This was the wrong model that's been rebadged. But at the same time, nobody who's going to be watching this video, other than like three or four of you, are going to care about that. They're going to care about the fact that it's a vacuum that works. And that's exactly what it is. So it gets a thumbs up for me. Should you buy the Bissell Powerforce Helix Turbo 1701R refurbished or the 2191R refurbished? Yes, you should. I wouldn't bother with the regular Helix because you can get this. It's a much better deal. It's still $10 cheaper than buying a Helix brand new in stores. And you get the turbo. You get the wider cleaning path. You get the longer cord, 25 feet instead of 22, 23 feet. And the turbo brush. Oh, and the, and the much better hose that's actually usable, unlike the standard Helix. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you bought one of these refurbished machines, let me know in the comments below. Or if you own this machine, or this one, or anything else, whatever, put it in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful, and hopefully it helped you if you're actually looking to buy a vacuum for a good price. And yeah, this is Intel Tech Studio signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have a good one.